But sometimes in pro wrestling, a wrestler can be on the top of the world, then due to their own outlandish and reckless behavior, their life takes a downward spiral. Due to their life actions, the wrestler in question becomes blacklisted from the pro wrestling industry and tough companies such as WWE and AEW decide they want nothing to do with that respective wrestler. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 wrestlers who suffered a huge downfall. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleMania.com. Number 10. Lars Sullivan when Lars Sullivan was called up to the WWE main roster in 2019, screenshots began to circulate of Sullivan's historical posts on the internet forums between 2007 to 2013. Unfortunately, the majority of these posts had disgusting comments of a racist, sexist, and homophobic nature. Sullivan would take aim at beloved WWE figures such as Kofi Kingston, R-Truth, and even Stephanie McMahon. Sullivan was quite rightly fined $100,000 by WWE and a subsequent statement on the controversy was released by Sullivan. There is no excuse for the inappropriate remarks that I made years ago. They do not reflect my personal beliefs nor who I am today and I apologize to anyone I offended. WWE in a bold move decided to keep Sullivan around but that was until 2021 when Sullivan departed WWE due to his anxiety issues. Due to Sullivan's prior comments as well as his anxiety issues, it's likely that Sullivan never steps foot in a pro wrestling ring ever again. This was a man who was going to have a featured feud with John Cena and just threw it all away. Number 9. Joey Ryan One of the names disclosed as part of the speaking out movement in 2020 was Joey Ryan. Ryan was at one point one of the biggest names on the indie scene and although his work wasn't to everyone's taste, it certainly attracted an audience. Ryan was named by over 15 different individuals and some of the stories that were shared by the very victims were horrifying and can't even be disclosed on YouTube. Impact Wrestling, who Ryan often appeared for, would terminate Ryan effective immediately and instead of showing remorse for his actions, Ryan criticized the way Impact handled the situation and he proceeded to deny all accusations in a video statement. I've never had sex with a woman without a consent. I've never acted criminally towards a woman and I've never acted criminally with sex and unlike these allegations, I have actual evidence that can show you that. This so-called evidence never seemed to surface and the wrestling industry seems to be done with Ryan as he was recently working at Universal Studios. Number 8. Ryback Upon leaving WWE, there was an expectation that Ryback would venture into a new company such as Impact or perhaps even a successful run on the independent scene. However, in the years since his WWE departure, Ryback has become a laughing stock of the wrestling world. Ryback is consistently making controversial comments that are disgusting in nature and Ryback would even take aim at Vince McMahon's late mother for literally no reason. Ryback spends his days throwing out outlandish comments on streaming live on TikTok, not to mention his mukbang videos where he eats a packet of chips. As of this video being published, Ryback hasn't wrestled in a ring for over 5 years and it's unlikely that any sensible and reputable wrestling company will ever want to book the former Intercontinental Champion on one of their shows. Ryback even made a poll saying whether he should return to WWE or go to AEW or just retire. The majority was retire. Ryback took the poll down, commenting to users to be serious. Nevertheless, he put the poll up again and they still said retire. Number 7. Ric Flair Ric Flair is considered to be one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. In the recent years, Flair has been involved in controversy after controversy. In 2021, Dark Side of the Ring distributed a special episode on the infamous plane ride from hell. In this episode, a female flight attendant accused Flair of wearing his signature robe and forcing her to touch his nether regions. It was said that she proceeded to sue WWE and the two sides would settle out of court. WWE did not disclose if Flair was punished for the incident back in 2002, yet it's a common belief that Flair wasn't reprimanded in any way. Following the airing of the episode, Flair would deny the allegations towards him and WWE would subsequently remove Flair from their signature at the start of their shows. In 2023, Tony Khan made the controversial call to sign Flair to AEW. This was a move which received widespread backlash and Khan was called out on his hypocrisy. He would later claim that Flair was brought in due to a sponsorship deal, yet this did little to justify why Flair was now employed in the second biggest wrestling company in North America. Number 6. Sunny Sonny is considered by many to be the first WWE diva and during the mid 90s, Sonny was a household name in pro wrestling, one of the most downloaded women in internet history in the early 90s. Sonny's problems with the law were well established and in the year 2012 alone, Sonny was arrested five times in a single month. 
Ultimately, in 2022, Sonny was involved in a fatal crash that killed a 75-year-old man. It was determined that Sonny was intoxicated during the crash, and in November of 2023, she was sentenced to 17 and a half years in prison and eight years probation. Due to Sonny's inexcusable actions, she will never be promoted in a positive manner on WWE TV again, and it would hardly be a surprise if Sonny's name is virtually erased from the WWE history books. Number 5. Albert Del Rio During his numerous stints in WWE, Del Rio was pushed as a top main event level star. Del Rio was a multi-time world champion and although he was undeniably talented in the ring, whether Del Rio was popular enough to warrant such a consistent push is a topic for another day. The more sinister side of Del Rio began to surface in 2016 when he began to date fellow WWE star Paige. It would surface that Del Rio was putting Paige through physical and mental abuse and in a brave and courageous move, Paige sat down with Gore TV in 2020 to discuss what kind of person Del Rio truly was. In the beginning, you're fighting back with this person, but in the end, it becomes a cycle. Eventually, something is happening to you every day. You could be trapped in a room for six to seven hours, getting your ass beat every couple of minutes, and he's doing all these crazy things to you because he's Voldemort to me. He needs whatever is happening to him. Karma is a real thing. Also in 2020, Del Rio was charged with battery and sexual assaulting his girlfriend at the time, and after this trial was postponed on several occasions, the charges were eventually dropped in 2021. Del Rio's conduct over the past eight years has shattered his reputation within the pro wrestling industry. WWE wants absolutely nothing to do with the former WWE champion, and recently in December 2023, Del Rio was seen wrestling in a high school gym, marking one of the biggest yet justified downfalls in pro wrestling history. Just imagine at one point you're wrestling in front of 70,000 plus people in a stadium. The next minute you know, you're in front of 70 people who could care less that you're there. Number 4. Tessa Blanchard Just one day before Tessa Blanchard was set to make history and win the Impact Wrestling World title, Blanchard's world completely fell apart. She would send out a tweet stating that women should support each other and this tweet was met with clapbacks from numerous top female talent. Names such as Chelsea Green would call her out for bullying and she would even be accused of using a racial slur and spitting in a black woman's face. Blanchard eventually released a formal statement which read, Over the last week, I've been accused of calling a fellow wrestler a racial slur. To read this allegation has been personally upsetting. To be clear, I absolutely did not use that word. That word is not in my vocabulary. That word is not in my heart. Racism is not in my heart. Yet I know many people have to deal with racism in a way I will never have to. Racism is an awful part of American history and it's equally awful that it's still part of a society today. While I did not do what was claimed, I stand ready to use my platform to support the fight against racism however I can. And in a controversial move, Impact would still proceed to book Blanchard to win the Impact World title, yet in summer 2020, she would be stripped of the aforementioned title and she would disappear from the limelight entirely. Number 3. Ted DiBiase Jr. At one stage, it appeared that Ted DiBiase Jr. was going to be a major player for WWE, yet things didn't work out how DiBiase or the fans expected. When he left WWE, he fell out of the public spotlight, but that was until mainstream media picked up a story regarding DBRC and a very worrying legal case. In April 2023, the US Department of Justice released an official statement indicting DBRC with one quarter conspiracy to commit wire fraud, six counts of wire fraud, two counts of theft concerning programs receiving federal funds, and four counts of money laundering. Due to the nature of these charges, DBRC is facing a prison sentence that could amount to 180 years. Number 2. Hulk Hogan Fans across the world were horrified in 2015 when it surfaced that Hulk Hogan had delivered a racist rant on a leaked tape back in 2007. In this rant, Hogan would use the N-word several times and once this was made public, Hogan was quick to apologize, yet fans as well as fellow wrestlers didn't want to hear it. Everyone was hurt by Hogan's comments, as Hogan for decades had been a role model for people young and old, yet it turned out that Hogan was a nasty racist who was always hiding his true colors. WWE would remove Hogan from the Hall of Fame, yet a few years later, Hogan would slowly be reintegrated into WWE programming. Hogan's appearances are always met with fair criticism, and Hogan is often booed as racist rant isn't something fans are going to forget and forgive. And number 1. The Velveteen Dream WWE had plans to make the Velveteen Dream one of the future stars of the company. Dream was super over with the NXT audience and there were even rumors that Dream was going to feud with John Cena on the main roster. Unfortunately, in 2020, everything changed. 
He was accused of sending indecent images to underage boys via Instagram. Then just a few short months later, his name was part of the speaking out movement, which he was accused of having inappropriate contact with underage children. WWE were called out extensively for how they handled this as they decided to ignore what Dream was accused of and the only comment the company made was when Triple H stated, we looked into it, didn't find anything there in the manner of what we're looking for and we moved on, but it doesn't change the fact that we take it seriously. Every time Dream would appear on TV, hashtag Fire Velveteen Dream trended worldwide and eventually WWE decided to release one of the most promising stars from his contract. Since Dream's WWE exit, he is yet to wrestle again, likely because not a single wrestling promotion wants to be associated with him. But there you have it folks, 10 wrestlers who suffered a huge downfall. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.